Welcome back to my channel. I am Meg from Megfor.com. I am a minimalist. This whole channel is to inspire you towards minimalism and towards a more adventurous life. So let's get started. As you can see from the title, this video is about what does it take to become a minimalist. I know people kind of watch from afar. They see these uh, Netflix documentaries and they see Marie Kondo and they're like, I want a more decluttered life, but is that for me? So these are the top three things that it takes to become a minimalist. So every time you go out, every time you see an ad for something on your phone, on your computer, every time you walk into a mall or into a store, they've got something in there to kind of grab you right away. And then before you check out, they've got little tiny things that are meant to just like catch your eye and to tempt you into just buying random stuff. And then before you know it, your entire house is filled with dollar bin items from Target and you are drowning in stuff and your house no longer brings you joy. It's just a dumping ground for things. No! Fighting the influence of consumerism and just buying everything in sight takes a lot of self-control and this has to do with how you decorate your home, how you dress yourself, <laughs> not buying new clothes every single week, um, what you bring inside of your house uh, for your kids and the toys that you use, all of those things. I do wanna say minimalism is a journey. It's not a destination. Everybody's journey is gonna look different. And I think it takes a lot of self-control to also reevaluate it every couple of months. Uh, for me, I like to do it monthly. So at the first week of every month, I kind of look around to each room. I go around with a little donation bag and I'm like, what can we get rid of? What has come in the house? If you have kids, man, just things just come in, you know, the projects from school, um, toys from school, Sunday school, uh, friends, parties, uh, man, those goodie bags at parties. So many things just pile up. Um, sometimes the kids want to keep them and sometimes it's like they just get discarded and thrown to the side. And it's like, yeah, we need to reevaluate um, every once in a while and go from room to room and say, you know what, what can we gift others? What can we just give away? What is not serving us? That takes a lot of self-control to do it continually and to kind of fight that wave of just things and belongings and junk that enter our house. I get a lot of messages from people saying, I really embraced minimalism after my divorce or after my mom passed away and I had to deal with all of her clutter in her home and her hoarding and it was such an inspiration to just live with less. Sometimes it takes something negative to push us violently into something positive and a more beautiful space into our life. If you have all these negative feelings of depression around your home and your home base and your personal space and you have a lot of anxiety surrounding all the clutter and disorganization in your life, it's very motivating to say, this is something that I can change. I just need to know how to do it and I need the motivation to do it. That's why I'm here. So I want you to take those negative feelings of anxiety or stress or overwhelm and I want you to take them and use them to propel you into a better place. Okay, so this brings me to the third thing and it kind of relates to the second thing. It's a desire for a better life. You know that if you had your space organized, it would be a better lifestyle for you. You know that if you had each room in your house decluttered, it would be a better life for you. So why start tomorrow? Let's start today. Those are the three things that it takes to become a minimalist. All right, how do you get started? How are you gonna start this minimalist journey? I have a ton of videos on this, but I'm gonna give you a quick little snippet of how to get started. I want you to go to your most used room. So maybe you use your bedroom the most, maybe you use the kitchen the most, maybe you spend the most time in the living room, but I want you to pick one room and I want you to start from one corner and move to the opposite corner. And I want you to just take a box, put everything into that box that you don't use every day or even every week. So put everything in that box. At the end of one week, if you haven't gone back into that box to use that thing, that gadget, that random thing, the little tchotchke on the shelf, then you're gonna take that entire box and you're gonna donate it or give it away or take it to your local uh, foster, home foster home resources or your church or wherever 
and just get it out of the house. I'm telling you, you are gonna be shocked at how freeing it is to let go of those things that you were not using, that were not serving you. And then you're gonna become like addicted to just clearing out your life of the things that do not serve you. It is so exciting to get this process started. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments or if you just need a little push and motivation, I'd love to hear your personal story. Don't hesitate to email me or come visit on my blog and comment on one of my posts. I always answer the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and for stopping by my channel and even being interested in my videos and minimalism. Um, the whole point of this channel is just to serve you and to inspire you. If you have any questions about minimalism or if you have a video request, put it down below in the comments. I'd love to make a video just for you. And we should be friends on social media. Let's be friends. <laughs> um, I'm on all the platforms, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, of course, here. Um, Whatever platform is your favorite, uh, come and find me and I'll follow you back. Of course, don't forget to find me on my main little living room, my digital living room, my blog, megfort.com. Um, I've got tons of articles and inspiration there for you. So I'll see you there and I'll see you next time on my next video. Bye.